Hello and welcome back. Just a short one today. I want to share what happened to me with an, a new digital uh, SWR power meter that I found and I thought it would be amazing. Uh, I had great comments on this SWR 508 and people uh, commented, well, it would be great if the, the, the addition of the bars is amazing, but it would be great if it uh, really a digital needles and also if it could be more uh, could handle more power and I found one so this is the 508 and the uh, build quality was really really nice and the cool thing is it doesn't have uh, only numbers it also has the bars for the power and when you are tuning you can really see your reflected and a bar works a lot better as uh, only numbers only but of course if we had digital needles it would be even much better so I found this meter. I said, okay, the price is almost similar as the 501, and I just want to uh, give it a try. And uh, well, we can see here it's a digital readout. The meter is smaller than the 508, but it does have nice forward power, reflected power, and here you can see the SWR. And the good thing was it can go up to a milliwatt, and also for low power, so it starts at the milliwatt. Then you have your first scale up to a watt, 10 watts, 100 watts, and a kilowatt. And it is automatic switching. And another cool thing is it doesn't only have average power or peak, it even has PEP. And this was the first meter with PEP. So I thought, okay, I really need to try this one. And well, we checked a little bit more. What can it do? It can go from very low to 60. Uh, megahertz, that's nice, covers also 50. It even had a touch screen. If you push here on the screen, you can set the manual levels of the power. I think you could change your SWR that it goes uh, maximum up to three, and you can ch change it up to four or five, I think. And then there was another button for the average to be in a longer time. So the average would respond a little bit uh, slower. And it is also with the battery and it is software upgradable. Uh, well, touchscreen, we saw that. Yeah, software upgradable. This is great. So what happened? So I immediately ordered the device and I already wrote to the seller, ah, please can you uh, already send me the manual and I like to see how this uh, firmware uh, update process works or where I need to go. And he immediately responded that the seller was, was perfect. Um, but he said, now I need to wait for uh, the response of the company. Uh, just wait uh, till you receive the device. And then if the instructions are not there, then contact me again. When the device arrived, I immediately connected it uh, to my radio and I noticed already, oh, it's a lot smaller and also it really seems to be cheaply made. It just doesn't look that good as this one does. But in the box was nothing more than just a USB cable. So I plugged it into my computer. Hopefully it opens an external drive and there are my documents and my software. But no, it was not. So I contacted the seller again. He also didn't have it, so he will contact his supplier. A week passes, nothing. And then I remembered, oh, when I switched on the device, I saw a little startup screen and there was a web address. So I went to the website. Oh, this is, by the way, another one with digital, but without the bars. So that's diff more difficult uh, to read. Uh, the website this happened well okay let's uh, just continue to the website anyway okay first i need to find out uh, products is it rf components maybe we can find the manual uh, here you know it's microwave stuff okay you can probably see familiar items also they are they produce a lot in different names or they just resell I'm not sure but here is the device that we have and i didn't find any documentation here just the specifications also no links so i thought okay they say here uh, contact us if you want and i even found an email address somewhere uh, but also no 
no reply at all. If you try hard enough, you can get to the links. And here I could find the manual. It is in Chinese, but there is nothing uh, in the software. Also, the document it's a it's a Word document. You can probably translate that, but it is also not much more than just the specifications that we already could find uh, here. So I sent. A week later, another email, hoping they would respond, but they wouldn't. But it is just an SWR power meter, so I, how hard can it be? So I connected it, and I transmitted on 20 watts, and it said about 4 watts. And, then I, and the SWR was 1.6 while it was on the dummy load. And, uh, well, let me show you a picture. You can clearly see that, that the Daiba thinks it's 20 watts and the SWR is perfect. And the meter says 1.6, so that was not good. Uh, then I said, okay, let me put 20 watts. It can go up to a kilowatt, so why not? So I tried that, and instead of, uh, I think it was around uh, 80 watts or 70 watts, and it said 11 watts, and still the SWR 1.6. So I thought, okay, that is not going to work. And knowing how the support is by this uh, supplier, uh, it's not going to work. And then I said, okay, let's have a little peek inside and look what I found. Clearly, they have been in a rush to putting this thing together. It looked terrible. Nothing was straight. They only used glue. They didn't even use screws to fix the, the PCB to the bottom. And uh, it was poor, poor quality. And uh, knowing uh, the support, no. I understand the product can be broken, or it can be, like we call it, a Monday morning uh, item, that it was just poorly put together. But looking at it, how poorly it was put together, and how bad it was calibrated, if it was even, if it was even properly working. But how do I know how to recalibrate it? The supplier never responded to me. Even the seller could not contact the supplier to get a simple manual. So the product is bad, the support is bad. This is a waste of time. So that's it. Hope it uh, was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.